Hello everyone, my name is Neha and in this lecture we are going to add two arrays using LabVIEW. One of the most fundamental matrix operation is uh, adding two arrays. So that is what we are going to do today. We have these two matrix uh, here on the block diagram screen. Uh, the first one is A and this is these are the values in the matrix and then this is B array which has these values. So so in order to add these two arrays, they must be of the same size and the process used to add uh, these two matrix matrices is to add corresponding elements from each matrix. So for example, uh, when we have this A and B met, uh, the A and B arrays, they are, when they are added together, then the top uh, left element of the resulting array will be uh, one, one, plus 3 which is going to be 4 so you'll get 4 in the result and on the top center you will get 2 plus 5 which is 7 and then 7 will be your answer so that's how um, it is how that's how the arrays uh, are added if if you have two arrays of same size that's how you add now we're going to use lab view uh, to add two arrays so right click on the front panel and then go to data containers and then click on the array and then you need uh, some numeric value to enter into this array because we have three cross three matrix we need to put some uh, value inside this for that you'll look for numeric and under numeric uh, you can use either numeric control or numeric indicator i'm going to use numeric control so i'll just put it here and then we want to extend this further uh, we want to uh increase the matrix size to three so for that you will just uh, click on right click here and then and then uh, click on the so actually you will click right click here on this one and then you will add dimension and then click one more time add dimensions and then how to increase this you'll just you'll just do like this and then you have this matrix so that's your one matrix and then I'm just quickly going to copy this and then paste here so this is going to be my this is going to be my a matrix so I'll just name it as a and this one as this one as B all right so I have these two matrices um, and then I'm going to use the add function. So you'll go to uh, this add function uh, to find uh, to find the add function. You will just go to this block diagram screen and then look into the mathematics and then into the numeric uh, and then use this add function. So and then connect these two metrics together and then this as well. And then the next thing which you have to do is to click on this uh, add box and right click and then uh, click on this create indicator. So once you do that, it will uh, basically this matrix will pop up and then uh, this will show that X and Y will be added. So these are the X and Ys. Now let's let's run this and we haven't put any values here. We'll put it uh, once we run this uh, run this program so let's run this and so our metric says it is so this one is one this one is two this one is three two one four three four Three, four, five, four, and then eight, and then, and then one, three six 
So these are the values, but and and this is my result. But you see that we are only able to see only uh, like uh, one one row and uh, one column. So we need to extend this. To do that, we have to stop here, and then I'm gonna bring it. Uh, Bring it somewhere here and then I'm going to extend this to since it is a 3 cross 3 so I I'll have to extend this so let's let's run this and now you can see this is the result of these two metrics and if you change the values you will see uh, the is the response correspondingly so let's say let's say this is 4 this is 4 and this is 5 which is 9 and let's change this to 6 and 8 is 14 and 4 or plus 1 is 5 let's say this is 4 plus 2 is 6 um, 3 plus 4 is 7 and then 3 let's change this one to 0 1 plus 4 is 5 so you see that how uh, the result has been formed here so this was uh, adding two arrays and you can uh, use different operations uh, under the matrix uh, for example if you want to transpose the matrix or if you want to multiply the uh, two different matrices uh, you can do that operation uh, using lab view so you need to explore a little bit more to uh, to basically figure out those uh, uh, those operations so this is the end of the lecture thank you so much for watching